In this video, we are going to explain about loads and series configuration in Odo 13. Loads are a batch of products identified with a unique number or barcode and all items of the loads are the same product and serial numbers are a group of numbers or a unique number to identify a specific product. Inside the inventory module or the purchase module, we can create a new product by this here I created a new product as name like demo 1 see exist already demo 4 and here we have some conditions we have to set it the stored per product and inside the inventory tab here we can see traceabilities and hereby we specifying the traceability of the product by lots or unique serial number we are specified here by lots the product will trace by lots we can see by saving and we are going to make a RFQ for this product demo 4 creating a RFQ we are specifying a vendor and add a product. Our product is demo 4. And here the quantity is 5. And we can specify the unit of price. And confirm the order. By receiving the product. We can see that here is a notification while validating the receipt uh, you need to supply a lot of lot or serial number for the product demo for and that means we have to specify a lot for this batch because this products are same here by add line we can add a new uh, lot for this like Lot number zero zero one, and here we can specify the quantity of these lots. So five products are in this lot. Or if we want to split it, uh, here we can split it to two lots and give the quantity as per that, and we can confirm this. By this we created a lot for this and by validating the receipts is validated and uh, inside the traceability we can see the products here the quantity is 5 units in the lots and while Selling the product, making a sale order. Here we can specify a customer and add the product demo for added our product demo for and the unit is two units. Link. and confirm the order inside the delivery tab here we can see the lots the lot we given here we can see that the lot and the detail of the lot and inside the traceability we can see the details of this lots by right here this is how we configuring and using a lot for a product and we can go to the next serial number of a product we can create a serial number for a product 
so we are going to create a new product for that it's a demo file and we have to set it into storable product and inside the inventory tab we have to give an it's a unique serial number and save this by this we can specify or identify unique products for example as of fingerprints is specifying a unique person instead of uh, by his name or his address uh, fingerprints are unique like the serial numbers are unique for a product and we save this product and we are going to create an RFQ for this product creating an RFQ specify our vendor and the product demo file and we have to specify the quantity is here I am giving 3 and the unit as you want and confirm the order here in the receipt as like a lot we can see the pop-up here by validating without the lots and here we have to specify a lots or serial number here by add line here we can see the quantity is automatically done by one quantity because the serial number is unique we are specifying it 0 sn 0 0 1 and add the next line for the uh, next product as sn 002 and the third product sn 003 and validate this By this we can see the traceabilities of the product uh, see by the serial number the unique products we can see in the traceability reports and while sale the product we can sale order for this Here we can specify our vendor. Here we can specify our customer here and our product demo file. And the quantity is 2 and the unit of price we want and confirm this in the delivery tab we can see the unique serial number for the product by this we can identify the product here and it helps while the manufacturing the product and this is how we creating and configure the lots and serials in auto 13 and thanks for watching this video if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.